Last week we did a jump from the east to the west. We opened a little Japanese legend and the third generation of the only true American sports car. Today I want to do the opposite. I want to start with a powerful western truck and then jump to another little Japanese legend covered with legendary livery. Today in General Collectibles we have another Hot Wheels RLC unboxing. first edition of this casting, part of the 2021 RLC lineup, but released in the early 2022. The fourth generation of the F-Series is the first truck to introduce the concept of the unibody, meaning that the cabin and the bed truck are one continuous piece. Hondus wanted to give a more vintage look to this release, and that's why we have this two-tone paint scheme with the bright spectra flame orange in the top of the cabin and in the lower part of the truck and the white pearl in the middle. The casting is representing a modified version of the truck because the stock models were never that close to the floor. The wheels that is using are called deep dish and as you can see they have these beautiful white wall rubber tires. Near to the window you have the door handle painted in silver and the small letters that I believe are a reference to the classic car studio. This studio is a car shop in US that does restoration and modification services to classic cars. Already in this part of the hood, you can see the Ford F100 badge. In the back, the taillights are elongated and painted red. In the tailgate, you see the Ford naming in big letters and below it a yellow plate that reads 62 Uni. This is a reference of the production year and the Uni body concept. In this version, the truck bed is fully covered. Inside you'll see two tone seats in orange and white and in contrast with the white dashboard, this orange wheel. The front is full of detail. You can see all the slits in the grille and two beautifully painted round headlights. Then in the bumper you will find the same plate that in the back but to top it all up, all the grille and all the bumper is painted with this light shade of grey that simulates the chrome finish that all the trucks had at the time. I think that detail is amazing. In the nose of the hood you have this small classic Ford logo, which is a nice touch. And then, you open the hood. And you'll find a six stray cylinder engine, with some details in blue. You wanna see? And now, how can we talk a classic truck as beautiful as this one. Maybe with one of the most beautiful and loved Japanese cars ever. Datsun 510 or Bluebird 510 is definitely one of the most beloved Hot Wheels casting ever. The first release was in 2009 and the opening hood feature appeared for the first time in the Redline Club in 2016. The history of the real car stands on its own, but probably the most recognized achievement of this little guy is the championship of the breed team in the Trans Am category in US in 1971 and in 1972. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the Brie Liberty. This might not be the Brie Liberty, but it's a legendary livery all the same. The Golf Oil Company has had a relationship with motorsports for ages. The first time that the famous light blue orange livery appeared was in 1923 in the 24 Hours of Le Mans. A Porsche 917K was using it. The casting has 8 spoke wheels with rubber tires that roll perfectly. And here by the side you cannot miss the big golf logo and some other small sponsors. 
A really nice detail is the transition of the light blue body to the white top. Inside, you will see the roll cage in orange to combine with the outside details. The rest is black. The back has these beautiful painted taillights and a plate that reads Golf 510, which is of course the reference to the livery and the model. You have also the Datsun name in the top and a light grey painted bumper. The front has the same amount of detail, with a black grille and painted headlights in orange and in white. From the top you can see more details of the livery. You have these two racing stripes in orange that go from the hood to the trunk. And another big Golf logo also in the hood. Now let's open the hood. The engine seems to be a representation of an inline 4. And it has a bunch of details in orange, chrome and black. Now we have Paul again. JD Cars, American Trucks. Tell me what is your preference down below in the comments. Now, you might realize that I didn't do a comparison this time. And that is because I realized that the comparisons were making the video too long. Then, the Ford F100 doesn't have a basic model in Hot Wheels. But I actually have the first edition of the 510. So what I'm going to do at the end of the video, I'm going to put both of the cars side by side in the turntable so you can see the differences and make your own remarks. And you can always reach me out if you have any questions. Now, before you go, could you just please... You know? If you need another sneak peek, yes. I will open another two RLC models next week. So come around, I think you like them. My name is JR, thanks for being here and see you next time. Adios.